Hey guys, let's talk about testimonies. One of the most powerful ingredients in a travel party or a live presentation is the testimonies. And I've said many times that the presentation could be terrible. And if the testimonies are good, everybody's signing up. And if the presentation is awesome and the testimonies aren't any good, nobody's signing up. The stories are what give credibility to what the audience just heard in the presentation. And we want to make sure that we have very powerful, punchy testimonies at the end of every single presentation. So let's talk about the philosophy behind the testimonies, and then let's talk about how to give a solid 30-second testimony. Let's talk about the purpose of the testimony. The whole purpose of a testimony is to answer an objection in the mind of the listener. The audience is hearing the presentation, and as they're hearing the presentation, they have objections that are coming to mind. Things like, well, this would take too much time. Well, it sounds expensive. Mm, I don't really travel that much. Uh, never done anything like this before. Mm, I tried something like this before. I didn't have any success. Boy, I probably should go home and talk to the spouse. These are the thoughts that are going through the mind of the listener. The testimony's job is to address those objections. And so every single testimony must address an objection. If your testimony does not answer an objection, there's no need for the testimony. So let's talk about things that the testimony is not. It is not training. It is not reselling. It is not explaining components of the presentation that you think need further explanation. It's not to cajole or encourage people to get started. It is to answer an objection by telling a story that shows the objection to not be valid. So let's talk about the ingredients of a great testimony. So what are the ingredients of a great testimony? There are really six ingredients. Number one, your name. Number two, where you're from. Number three, what you do for a living. Number four, your objection or the challenge that you had to overcome to get started. Number five, what you did to overcome that objection or challenge. And number six, your tangible results, your measurable results. Let's go through and talk about each of those. First, your name, that's self-explanatory. Where you're from, self-explanatory. But the what you do for a living, we need to talk about. A lot of people get started in this business, and when they start earning a certain level of income, they stop doing their real job. You know, maybe they were a nurse, now they aren't. Maybe they were uh, an accountant, now they aren't. And it's very common for people to want to get up in front of the room and go, Hi, my name's Bob, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and man, I live full time, woo! Okay, the audience cannot relate to that at all. You just lost all credibility and everything you can do to add credibility to the presentation just washed away. You see, we want to answer objections in the mind of the listener. And one of the objections is, can I do it? And so we need people in the audience to hear from people who might be like them. So if there's a nurse in the audience, we need somebody in the medical profession, preferably a nurse, telling a story. We need white collar stories, blue collar stories. We need teacher stories, mechanic stories, lawyer stories, executive stories, whatever. So when you say, I do this full time, you just robbed us of one of the potential connection points of all of the testimonies that are coming up to the front. So don't do that. Say, I was a, whatever your profession is, for how long you were that, before you became full-time in World Ventures, and don't mention the full-time right now. We'll talk about that in the results part. So, name, where you're from, what you do for a living. If you're retired, you're retired. That's cool, that is a thing. If you're, you know, if you're, if you're above the age of 65, if you're a student, cool, you're a student. But say what you do that's not, I'm full-time in World Ventures. Next, your objection or your challenge. If you, when you saw this, you didn't have 365, or you didn't think you'd have any time, 
or you thought these sorts of things were a scam, or you built a network marketing idea before and not had any success, or you've never built a network marketing idea and didn't think you could do this, or you didn't think you knew very many people, or you don't like to travel, or you had never traveled before, whatever, you needed to talk to your spouse, this is what you're going to say. So it would sound kind of like this. Hey guys, my name is Scott. I'm from the Dallas area. I was an executive in the software industry for more than 15 years. And when I saw this, I was working more than 80 hours a week. And my big thing was I just didn't figure there was any way at all to fit something else in. I didn't know where I'd possibly do this. I liked the idea. No chance I could fit it into my schedule. That's my objection or my challenge. Next, what you did to overcome that objection or challenge. So I might say something like, but I started thinking about the fact that the definition of insanity is to repeat the same thing and expect a different result. And I knew that I was never going to have time if I didn't do something different. They told me there was a system, and if I followed the system, I could build leverage and buy my time back. Maybe your objection is I need to talk to my spouse. Well, when I saw this, guys, I was ready to get started, but I had an agreement with my spouse that we wouldn't make a decision on the spot without talking to one another, and I really felt like I needed to go home and talk with her. But you know what? I saw how serious my friend was and that they were putting people into the team very, very rapidly, and I didn't want to miss out on that growth. So I just figured my spouse could trust me enough with a $365 decision for me to move forward. Man, I'm so glad that I made that decision on the spot. So your objection and then what you did to overcome the objection. And then the last thing is your measurable results. One of the mistakes that people make is they use results that people don't know what it means. They say things like, and it's been awesome. Thank you, World Ventures. What does that mean? It's been awesome. We want to talk about specifics. So if you have been on a dream trip and saved money, that's what you want to say. Man, we went on a trip to Cancun. We saved over $1,200 on that trip. If you have enrolled people, you want to say that. And however many that's turned into, we personally enrolled five of our friends and family members. Those five have turned into 27 so far. That's a huge story. One of the reasons that people are hesitant to share their tangible results is they convince themselves that their results aren't big enough. Well, I'm not an IMD, so I shouldn't share my results. That's nonsense. The guy in the seat, he doesn't think he'll ever even get one. So when you talk about the fact that you've gotten three to say yes or six to say yes or whatever it is, it doesn't need to be a big number. That's impressive to the average person. And it's especially impressive if you can add, and my team is now however many. You know, I've, I've shared this idea with, you know, six of my friends, and that's turned into a team so far of 37. Amazing story. So that's what you want to say. So let's review your name, where you're from, uh, what you do for a living, your objection or your challenge that you had to overcome, what you did to overcome it, and then your tangible results. And the last thing you just say is, thank you, World Ventures. One last thing I'll say to put a bow on this, guys, these testimonies need to be 30 seconds because we want to put as many people in front of, across the front of the room as possible. These three and four minute testimonies, no go. 30 seconds in and out, say those six ingredients and move on. So that way we can put nine, 10, 11, 12 stories in the front of the room instead of only three or four because the stories are everything. We say it a million times on our team. Facts tell, stories sell. Go practice your testimony, get it dialed in with those six ingredients, and you're going to be a huge contribution to every travel party that you attend.